Well, Republican candidate for Governor Tim Fox and his running mate, John Kenoki, are unveiling their strategic plan for the state called Montana United. That plan has 14 pillars ranging from health care to education. Today, Fox unveiled his campaign's plan for agriculture. It calls for protecting Montana's water resources by facilitating better communication between state and regional offices. Fox also wants to balance the state's tax structure to not rely so heavily on property taxes. And that's just a small chunk of Fox's ag plan that created. He reached out to some 500 Montanans. Going forward, we know in leadership positions, uh, we shouldn't be in silos or the ivory towers, we call them. We have to have people who are engaged and connected to people all across the state. Uh, and that's what we're attempting to do here. And that sets the stage for our opportunity to govern because we do believe that our best days here in Montana are ahead of us. And our goal as public servants is to leave things in a better place for our kids and grandkids and generations to come. And, and this is a big part of it, agriculture. Fox is up against state lawmaker Al Oshefsky and Representative Greg Gianforte for the Republican governor nomination. Lieutenant Governor Mike Cooney and businesswoman Whitney Williams are vying for the Democratic nomination. And both the Democratic governor hopefuls will be in Billings tomorrow night for their first debate. MSUB's Petro Theater is the site for the event. I'm looking forward to being one of the panelists for it. That 90-minute forum begins at 6 p.m. It is free and open to the public.